Well, Peter, welcome to uh, to Pride Park Stadium, first uh, and foremost. It's terrific to have you here. Look, we, we know the name NSPCC, we, we know the logo. Um, just remind us, though, what the charity does and, and why it is so important. Yeah, so funnily enough, um, the NSPCC was founded in 1884, the very same year as Derby County. And the mission has remained the same ever since then, which is to prevent cruelty to children. Over time, the ways in which people have been cruel to children have changed, um, but sadly, this is still an issue. Far too many young people experience abuse, neglect, bullying in their lives, and the NSPCC is here to do everything we can to prevent that cruelty from happening and to help children respond and recover and understand that if bad things happen to them, it's not their fault and someone will be there to make things better. Are there any particular challenges that you're facing at the moment? Well, a big issue at the moment is keeping children safe online. So in 1884, people wouldn't have foreseen the internet. Um, it's a world where the basics of child protection aren't designed in. You know, when we buy toys for children, there are rules and laws about no sharp edges or chokeable parts or lead paint. But online, anything goes. It's a wild west. So the NSPCC has been at the forefront of campaigning for laws to require technology companies to design a duty of care into their services. So at the moment there's a really important piece of legislation, the online safety bill, which we have campaigned to bring forward. We need to get that through. So that's a big focus of our attention. We're coming up to Christmas. Christmas is a happy time for lots of people, but it's a really challenging time for many children and families. So NSPCC runs Childline, which many people will know is a 24-7 service here for any child with a worry or a concern, you know, no problem too big or too small. Around about Christmas, a disproportionate number of young people contact us for the first time. So we'll be here throughout Christmas, 24-7. Uh, uh, it's a service which is fronted by volunteers so we need to train and support those volunteers uh, all the way through and we need to raise money to enable these services to be available. The NSPCC is funded overwhelmingly from voluntary donations over 90 percent so the generosity of people to get alongside us and support us is huge as well and Christmas is also a bit like uh, people who run shops. It's, a, it's an important time for, for fundraising as well as an important and difficult time for many children. So yeah we're busy um, but we've always got time for football and uh, always got time for partnerships like this one which is a really kind of imaginative and exciting join up between two iconic organisations. I'll ask you about your football allegiances in a moment or two, but, but what does this partnership between the NSPCC and, and Derby County, what does it do for you? Well, I think this creates real uh, step change in awareness and appreciation of the importance of keeping all children safe in Derby City and around wider Derbyshire. And there's great work that's being done by the services uh, in, in the county, the Community Foundation, the NSPCC, its Child Protection in Sport Unit. This partnership is a way of reminding people to look up and look out for children. There are simple things which we can all do, if we know about it, to keep children uh, safe. Um, we can raise awareness of the NSPCC helpline, we can raise awareness of child line and we can do things together to better protect children. I think it's really uh, it's a really exciting and different and distinct partnership, something that the club can be massively proud of. And on a personal level, as a big football fan yourself, yeah. is there a bit of a thrill for you to, to see the logo out on, on the field and at a stadium like this? Yeah, I think it's, it, it's brilliant. I mean, this corner flag the dual branding of Derby County and NSPCC, you know, integrated into the, the match experience is, uh, yeah, it's, it's brilliant. And children are around us all the time. It's so important that every young person gets the start in life that they deserve. Some of us are luckier than others. It's, it's not a young person's fault 
if they find themselves in, uh, in difficulty. And these are challenging times for everyone, but if we can reach out and look up for and support those who are less fortunate than ourselves, you know, what a brilliant thing to be doing together. Peter, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Pleasure.